slums like this one are still home to about 40 million people. Where do you feed your family? Where do you look after your kids? Where do you send them for education? The government there now thinks that less than a dollar a day is enough to get by. So you have a different approach man. when you witness poverty every day. Think about it. In general, in society, especially democracies, uh, should guarantee equality of opportunity, but not equality of outcome. As long as that's part of our cultural makeup, uh, then people will be sending money and this culture of mendicancy and poverty will just be self-perpetuating. Given the scarcity of employment opportunities in the Philippines, family members left behind often begin to self-identify as hopeless and helpless victims of circumstance. To compound this dilemma, these family members receive remittances which is an enticing prospect at first, but results in very little motivation to seek employment themselves. The huge disparity between upper and lower class is to be denounced, especially because it works to the bone those with very few possessions while stripping the wealthy few of their grasp of reality. This fate need not play itself out in the Philippines, America, or elsewhere.